My laboratory is focused on organ regeneration and the application of developmental biology to human disease. We use the lung as a model system based on the fact that there are an abundance of respiratory diseases such as cystic fibrosis, COPD, asthma, and emphysema, and they have unknown causes and no cures. Fundamentally, the problem is that we can't grow cells from patients outside of the body. So what we wanted to be able to do was to find a technique in which we could take patient cells into the laboratory and grow them indefinitely so that we could have an abundance of their tissue. When we tried to grow human tissue, we would get very limited amounts of those human cells. And that meant we could study patient A, but only for a short period of time, and then we'd have to move to patient B and study that patient for a short period of time. And so it was impossible to compare experiments to experiments, and we needed some form of reproducibility in order to do studies, in order to test the progression of the disease, and in order to screen or look for therapeutic agents that could help treat the disease. Our culture system works by preventing the differentiation of adult stem cells into mature cells. And that's what differentiation essentially means. It's a fundamental biologic process where an immature cell becomes a differentiated cell. And what we've done is find chemicals that inhibits that process. So since stem cells can't differentiate, instead what they do is continue to make more and more of themselves. What that allows us to do at any step in the process of stem cell expansion is to take out a small number of stem cells and to put them in a different condition that allows you to make mature cells from them. The airway epithelium that we could produce from these stem cells really looked very, very much like a mature airway epithelium with good function. We're also very excited to get this protocol in the hands of scientists who study other kinds of stem cells in other organs. By sharing this protocol with the world, we are hoping to accelerate the process of discovery. But this is just the very first step in a very long journey. There's no magic bullet in science, no one procedure that solves everything. There are always more and more steps to take. The steps may be different in different patients, and the steps may be different in different organs. We need a lot of scientists working on this.